The arrival of September means back to school routines for many families across the north. Northern Health's Preventive Public Health Department has many programs that promote healthy living and healthy choices for families. At this time of year, preventive public health staff have a few tips and pointers for back to school health and safety. When kids head back to school, there's concern about the increased potential for the spread of germs. Public health nurse Shelley O'Brien has some tips to keep children healthy during the school year. There are bacteria and viruses all around us and they are easily passed from person to person in the school setting due to close contact with students in the classroom. In order to prevent the spread of bacteria and viruses in the school setting, it is important for students, parents and teachers to understand the necessity of good hygiene and hand washing. Hand washing is the single best way to prevent the spread of germs. You start with soap and warm water, it is helping to loose the dirt and oils on the skin. Make sure you wash all parts of your hands, the tops, bottoms, in between your fingers. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. It takes that long to properly get all the dirt and the germs off your hands. After you rinse, um, make sure you turn off the taps with a paper towel and not to clean hands. In order to prevent the spread of bacteria and viruses, it is important to understand the necessity of good hygiene and hand washing. Before you handle or prepare food, sit down to a meal, give or take medication. After you've prepared uncooked food, especially raw meat, um, eat or smoke, handle garbage, care for a sick person, play with animals or pets, go to the washroom or blow your nose. Just some examples. Keeping children safe and injury free is another concern for parents at this time of year as kids head back to school. Northern Health's Injury Prevention Department has plenty of good tips and information, all of which you can find on our website at www.northernhealth.ca. Public health nurse Marilyn Clark talks about some of those recommendations. With the traffic, it is changing now for them to be aware that children are back to school, but the children still need to be very vigilant or very observant because uh, oftentimes the driver is unable to see a smaller person. It's important that at crosswalks they stop, look, listen both ways and make sure that they get visual contact with the driver. Uh, so that they can cross safely. If the child's under nine years of age, it's probably advisable, or if they are small aged, small for their age, it's advisable that they do walk with an adult or someone who's older. Um, it just it makes it safer for that, uh, that time. Um, make sure that the clothing that they're wearing is very uh, bright or clear, you know, light colored, and if it's dusk or dawn, make sure that they have some form of reflective material on their clothing as well. Um, if they don't know the traffic rules, it's important to go over them, and it's important to remind them to cross on crosswalks, make sure that they don't have earphones or headphones in their ears because that will distract them as far as hearing traffic coming behind them. If there's a sidewalk, they must walk on a sidewalk. If there's no sidewalk, they need to be walking facing the traffic. Playground safety um, can be quite a concern. Lots of playgrounds in the city are very well regulated, so there is a soft type of um, medium underneath the slides and things like that, but children need to be reminded one child alone on a slide coming down and one child alone on the, on the stairs. If the child is younger, it's important that, again, there's an adult in attendance so that uh, they can you know, catch them if there is anybody who slips or manages to fall. If a child has uh, any type of clothing that has a neck string such as a hoodie or a helmet that has a strap, it needs to be removed just in case that these do get caught and they end up strangling on the string or the cords. Um, it's, it's just very important just to be vigilant all around. July 1st, 2008, booster seats are being used now until the children are nine years old or until they're four foot nine inches tall um, and booster seats are for children over 40 pounds or 18 kilograms. It is the law in British Columbia and ICBC does have a website that you can check about the booster seats but also there's another excellent website called www.safekidscanada.ca that has a lot of very valuable information. Just on personal safety though, make sure your child does know their full name, address, phone number and a contact emergency phone number and just remind the children do not accept rides from anybody they don't know and to make sure that to tell an adult if they are approached by a stranger. Northern Health's Preventive Public Health Department has many good strategies and programs that can help children and families stay healthy not only just for back to school, but year round. For more information, contact your school nurse or visit Northern Health's website at www.northernhealth.ca. For Northern Health Highlights, I'm Erin Collins. <laughs>